Hi, everyone. Welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. I am your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and today we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for May 27th through June 2nd. Can you believe that it's almost June in 2022? That's crazy. All right. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Thank you for listening or watching wherever you are right now in this world. All right. So this week, we are going to have the opportunity to find a new solution to an older theme or story that we're working on. So that's definitely some good news. Now, I think that it could be prior to this week that you thought that you had all the answers. You thought that you had all the information and you were going in the right direction, but there's going to be some new inspiration or new ideas or some reveals that are going to come in. And once you have that piece of information, the way you feel about something or the way that you approach something has to shift a little bit. So let's talk about why. Okay, so we've been talking about both Mars and Jupiter being in Aries. This week, they are going to meet up and they're going to kick off a brand new cycle of energy that's going to bring a lot of expansive, driven focus to an area of your life. So where you've been feeling this and like, I don't think it's going to be a shock to you you're going to feel an amplification. You're going to feel something that's just kind of revved up and you're like, I've got to go for this. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of ideas. A little effort is going to go a long way with this energy. Now with this transit, I do want to tell you that you find what you see. So holding optimism is extremely important. You definitely want to walk with courage and focus on what you want to grow, not what you don't want to grow. That is the challenge when it comes to this energy. All right. This week, we also have Venus moving into her home sign of Taurus. Now, Taurus is an area of your life where you've been experiencing a lot of shifts, breakthroughs, unexpected revelations, changes, and also that overwhelming desire to find stability and resources that you can count on beauty and grace in your life. Now with Venus here, the tension of finding ways to do this is going to lessen But at the same time, your desire to be present and connected to the path that you're on is going to be amplified as well. It's almost like you see it a little bit more clearer now. You have that added support to help you get in this direction. So you're really driven to go that way too. All right. To add to this sense of new beginnings, we also have a new moon in Gemini this week. Now, what's interesting about this new moon in Gemini is that Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, is in retrograde. So in a way you're getting like a new beginning or a new slate, but it's something that you discovered weeks ago and that you're still working on. There could like, in other words, there could be like one more phase of revision out of these new intentions and this new slate that you're working on. But what's important with this new moon, the intentions and the goals that you set is to consider the ideas and the connections and the inspiration that you have. And with Gemini, it's always okay to have more than one. It's definitely encouraged to have one or two, at least two paths to kind of, dive into and see where they can take you. So this week, I definitely encourage you to write down the ideas, even if they pop into your mind at the middle of the night, if there's something that just you're thinking about mid sentence, make sure you write it down. It could be fleeting, but I promise you, it's going to be a good one that you're probably going to want to pursue in the weeks to come. Alrighty guys, just as a reminder, please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. As we go through these horoscopes, that'll give you a better overall view. And also, you know, just to remind you one more time, we do have that free report here at astrology hub where you can get your sun moon and rising and then i'll give you a quick overview of how all of those work together all you need to do to get your free report is go to astrologyhub.com forward slash sun moon and rising all right guys let's get started Okay, Scorpio, let's talk about your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, using breakthrough opportunities that surface in your daily routines and health. Two, finding a new way to approach partnerships that have shifted so that everyone on both sides is feeling supported. And three, communicating or setting goals around shared resources or transitions that support you in the short term and the long term. All right, Scorpio, let's talk about why this is your focus for the week. So we have expansive drive and determination pouring into your daily work, your rituals, routines around your health. I definitely encourage you to keep working towards making little changes that overall impact the rhythm of your life in a very powerful and healthy way. I think that you're going to find that it is a very subtle change that has a really huge effect. And I love that there's so much support here around healing in your health as well. Now your partnerships have gone through a lot of shifts, a lot of breakthroughs on that. And now 
more than likely a lot of revisions. This week, the tone in this area of your life will shift. And I think it'll also impact your home and your work life and your overall vitality as well. I think that what you're looking for here is a positive shift. It's going to bring a lot of heart and soul and depth into what can really make or help ensure that this partnership is healthy on both sides and at every level and can definitely be sustainable. So look for those conversations, look for ways to make that happen. Now, the new moon energy of this week is going to be offering you fresh insight into deep intimacy, shared resources, something around loans and transitions. So if there's a partnership or a loan you need, set goals to take steps to reach this commitment. Keep in mind that how you want this transformation experience to impact not only the shared resources, like you want to partner with someone, but also how you want it to impact your individual wealth, your individual self-esteem and your skills, because that's the seed. You, you partner with this group of people, you partner with this legacy and you really bloom and grow through it um, as we work through this month. All right. I do hope you have a good week, Scorpio. I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.